Okay, so today I have everything all wired up um, with the fan, and I'm going to show you really quick. It's pretty fairly simple. Um, the positive, I went through the both positive. I went through here and went to straight to the battery. Pretty short. And then there's a fuse in here. That's it. And it goes straight to the positive. I didn't want to I didn't want to complicate anything, so that's what I did. Uh, the two negative goes into this wire right here. I double the 18 just in case, uh, just in case something happened. So now it goes to the electronic control, as you can see. This line here was the fan. You can actually put either or. This line here goes to the ground, as you can see right down there. I just ground it to the uh, the engine bay right there this wire here if you look really close right there it says 12 volt that goes into your accessory uh, or you can go into your uh, uh, ignition one or the other um, then this one is the ground that just goes into your ground if you want a manual switch you can actually put it right here for this one and this one together and then wire that into your uh, whatever it is you want the location inside your um, uh, your compartment so the bypass switch would be this one and this one see what it says um, K0 and K1 that's actually just made a connection that's it and that's why I like this because it's very easy and it's uh, and you can set any temperature you like so for instance in I have this right here in the summer with an S and that's the winter so I can set whatever the setting here what I think it's is best for the car uh, at current time I'm gonna set it at 50 which is at 122 so anytime the car goes up to 50 uh, the fan will turn on in the winter I'm gonna go a little higher I'm gonna go at 90 so that way this temperature here is at least 194 degree that way we'll get the heat um, so that's uh, where I am gonna I'm gonna do I probably go a little lower if it's cooler that's you know you can adjust this anytime so that's 85 right there uh, which is 185 degree so that's why I like this thing because you can actually change it anytime you want you don't have to and it's cheap this was four dollars so that's all you have to do and it's pretty easy like I said this one goes to your ground let's recap this again this one goes to your ignition it says 12 volt ignition or even radio in my case I tap into the radio because if I turn the radio on and I sit there and if the engine gets hot so whatever it will turn on and then your negative these both are negative they just connect together they just make a complete circuit that's it and this is the uh, uh, thermostat and this is what it is here right now it's curling set as 32 degree uh, I'm, this is just testing mode. I'm going to show you in a minute how it works. But other than that, that's it. So it's pretty easy. Um, let me recap it one more time. Both of the positive go into their own wire straight to the battery and just put a fuse there in case something happened. Both negative go into that line there. And then you can put either or. It does not matter because it's only this thing only could make a complete circuit that's it so in reality I can put it here or I can put it here it doesn't matter one goes to the ground of your car one goes to the fan so it's sort of like you split that and if you want to add a switch cut the cut the wire in half and put one here and one here and then you'll switch in there so when you turn it on you bypass this 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 thing here anyway so that's all this thing does it's 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 a, it's a complete circuit that's it 
and then now I'm going to test it out for you. Right now it's dirty. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold the temperature because it's setting at 32. Now see it's... Oops. <clears throat> now it's on. I'm going to leave the thermostat on. To cool it down. going down right now it's at 32.1 now it's less than 32 it shuts off see how fast that is and that's why I like these and I'm glad I did and it's pretty cheap I don't have to buy anything extra or anything like that and it's pretty easy let me try it again Let me try this and see it turns on. I'm gonna put it right here. To... Now it's 32. If it goes below 32, it will shut down. See. And the location that this 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 thing should go is uh, my best location. I've counted like five rolls down. You can put it up here too, but if your um, uh, your your radiator is new, put it up top. But if your radiator is old, some of these are actually clogged up and stuff. So best to go a little further down. I would probably count ten of them. But at this time, I'm going to leave it up top because this radiator is really good. As you know, water will come out, come up to here, go through the first slot, and then it will follow down, 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 down. So the first, second, third slot right here would be best if you count down here because this is new. But like I said, if it's old, bring it down a little further. That's where your thermostat would be. And what I'm going to do is going to poke a hole right through and we're just going to insert it into... The, the, the grid right here be careful because those grids uh, you don't want to damage the real radiator you can damage the grid but you can't damage the radiator part because they actually it's like tube it's a flat tube running all the way through here so look at happen I just touched it and it turns on how sensitive it is which is good um, because then you can just put it here and it'll shut itself down and like I said, you can adjust any time. Change that any time you want, any location you want. You don't have to rely on other things, and it's cheap. Uh, the total cost on this, except for the wires. The wire, probably like if you want to buy your own wire or something, probably like add $4 to it. Uh, this piece right here was $4. The uh, fans here. The two fans was $30. Uh, $29, I just say $30. I rounded all off. And then I had to get these screws because these were stainless steel screws. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I show you how to do it already, but I'm going to run through it again. I just uh, get the screws here. Um, that was $12 total. I just did them all stainless steel. You can do without regular because this is aluminum. So you can do regular if you want, but I just didn't want something happen to it and I'm gonna have a hard time taking it out. So I did all stainless steel. Uh, the piece of steel, uh, that was $6. Um, I cut them and I drilled a hole through them and you saw the picture in the beginning. But in that, it's pretty quick, easy and simple. All you do is just wire just like I, I told you with the wiring. Um, made it pretty simple the only part that I had a trouble with was tapping into uh, the fuse um, I had to invent a little clip to clip to push that in but if you are able to go through that you're fine and then I had to go through the firewall right there well, that's the red line right there that's the firewall uh, that was the only hard part that's only took a long time because I I wanted to be neat but other than that, that's it on that. And see how simple and quick and easy that is. And now it's all thermostat control and I don't have to worry about it. 
uh, I can reset anytime, adjust the temperature what I like. Um, like it, like I said, in the summer. Oh, I just messed this up. Like in the summer, I'm gonna set it lower. That's my summer right there. I'm gonna see what it's like first because I don't know yet. But uh, as far as I know, if it's really hot, like if you live in like California, uh, Arizona, Texas, and stuff, set it low. Uh, since I'm here, I'm going to set it about 60 because I want to keep the engine as well. I've also learned that the engine over here, it's hot. And over here, it's hot. So if you're driving and you're idling, uh, then you would need to go the temperature to go lower on that. So if you're idling a lot in traffic, I would set it low. Okay, That's my tip for you. If you are not idling a lot, then you can set it a little higher to save your electricity. But this doesn't run too much electricity. And I can see my, my alternator here spiked up by just having not having this, this clutch fan. So if you ask me uh, if I'm glad I did it, yes I did. Uh, also too, I was an idiot. I left the car light on while well, well, was, I was working at night and I left the car light on it was oh, less than 50% of the battery I was like oh no what an idiot I'm such an idiot I, I, uh, now I'm gonna have to recharge it blah 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 and guess what I did I just tested at less than 50% it was like 9 volt around there it was at the red section and surprisingly the damn car turns on I was like, wow, I can't believe it. So next next thing, I'm going to take my lawnmower and I'm going to test it out to see if I'd be able to get the cranking amps on a lawnmower to see if this would work, if I would be the cranking uh, my lawnmower battery. So that's my next test and probably going to be the next video. It's going to uh, see if it's actually going to work or not on this one. But um, because of this here, this location here, I found out it got hot and uh, deteriorate plastic and it's starting to melt down there. So if you look down there really close, actually I'm gonna walk in there. This is during my testing and you can see right there, see that? Um, this was deteriorating and it falls onto the, the, the exhaust pipe and that's what's dripping down during my testing mode. So I know that this place is going to be hot and that's why I want to, I have to make a firewall there, um, actually a, a heat shield, that's going to be my next video. But um, other than that, that's about it. Um, like I said, uh, uh, I'm glad I went through this journey and I'm glad I did everything the way it was and, um, and I'm glad I got the, the, the cheap electronic because uh, they want eighty dollars, and there's one like a hundred something dollars for for like the different control, different temperature, and everything. I can set this like var varieties. I can set that as 121, 122, 23, 24, whatever the temperature I like, and I can set this up to two hundred something degree. So, like I said. And it was cheap. It was four dollars, and you can't beat that. So uh, this was a cheap conversion. I save a lot of money. Um, although I could have went, if you can see the radiator, I could have went a little bit bigger. So measure your thing. But the only thing, like I said, and it's a, I was afraid of these pipes right here, like that one over there. And plus, I'm going to put a shroud back on here. So um, that was the only thing I was afraid of. The fan would be hitting it. That was my only uh, concern on that. So I went a little smaller, but I wish I went. This was a 10. I wish I went 12. Instead, I could have just covered a little bit more, but two inches not going to. Two more inches, I think it's going to be. Or uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the 12, and then I'm going to get the 10. And well, I'm gonna get the 12 sets next time. I'm gonna reconvert this 112 and one and 110 because we have two two uh, trucks. Well, c this is a car. The other one's a truck, but they're both the same engine and everything. Um, so 
uh, I can do that too and that's my next step is to to do that because my dad was like oh shoot now I can he can drive off in the winter and stuff because now he can gain more horsepower to go up to the thing and oh I didn't I didn't mention the uh, the um, um, power steering oh my god it works like crazy you you don't have to do much now would get the power steering I guess the fluid must be pumping really nicely in there it just it turns in nicely and everything so anyway um, watch my uh, um, horsepower journey and you can see all the conversions that I did here but anyway that's about it on this video